Kamusta? Today I will show you how to install and hardwire both the front and back cameras on your Toyota Wigo. By the end of this video, you will be empowered to install and hardwire the security and safety devices sa sarili niyong sasakyan. Ito ang ating mga kailangan. A dash camera. A rear camera. A micro SD card, a 10 millimeter socket for the Wigo, a wrench, a piggyback uh, fuse tap, a micro mini blade fuse, hard wiring kit, prying tool. Long nose pliers at scissors, T taps, cable ties, electrical tapes, at siempre basahan. You also need lots of patience. Una natin gagawin ay ikakabit natin ng micro SD card sa slot ng dash cam. We are now ready to remove the plastic protector on the dash cam. Just peel it off like so. At ikakabit na natin ito sa ating um, rear view camera. Sa likod ng dash cam unit, merong dalawang rubber. Ilapat nyo lang sa likod ng rear view camera. Yung isa na putol. So, I improvised. I use a rubber band na binalutan ko ng electrical tape. Just tie it around your rear view mirror. Get your hard wiring kit at pabalutan din natin to ng electrical tape. To protect it from the heat of the sun. Para hindi maging brittle. Get the end of your hard wiring kit, yung positive, yung pula, and connect that to your uh, piggyback fuse tap using a pair of pliers. Open the fuse uh, cover. Tignan. Pag-aralan ng uh, fuse diagram. Yung nakikita nyong pulang uh, wire, yun ang uh, fuse top ko for my uh, front camera. Itong Geofo front camera. Patanggalin muna natin yung fuse top na yun. If you can see the 7.5 amp fuse sa extreme left ng aking fuse box sa ilalim nito, may uh, 5 amp fuse na gagamitin natin to connect my piggyback uh, fuse tap. Tatanggalin natin ang 5 amp fuse na ito at ikokonekta sa ating piggyback fuse tap for the dash and rear cam. So they're both 5 amp fuses that will share the same slot. Yan ang positive at ito naman ang negative na ikokonekta natin later sa fuse box din. I will show you where. Positive, negative. We are now ready to uh, plug in the, the port into the dash cam unit. Itago ang wire sa headliner ng maayos at pababa ng A pillar. The prying tool can also help you push and hide the wires. In that way, very minimal lang na wires ang nakalabas, if any.
ang iniiwasan natin yung mga nakadangling na wire na nakakasagabal sa driver. So I reconnected the fuse tap for my VOFO front camera. Ikaw connect na naman natin ang ground wire connector o ating uh, T-tap sa ground wire sa loob mismo ng fuse box. Ito yung uh, kabilang uh, parte nung, uh, nung T-tap na yon. Ikaw connect na naman natin sa negative wire ng piggyback fuse tap for the dash and rear cameras. There, binalutan ko rin ng electrical tape yung connection ng negative um, sa, sa T-tap. No? You can push this out to hide the wires. And use again electrical tape para i-bundle yung mga excess wires. If everything's connected, if everything's okay, you can close the fuse cover. Now let's um, uh, check our work and appreciate yung nakatagong wire. Malinis tignan, hindi masakit sa mata. Let's check if our uh, this front camera is working. Get now your rear camera. at babalutan natin ng electrical tape. We're doing this para ma-prolong yung uh, uh, tibay ng mga wiring. So be patient while doing this. para magkaroon ng distinction yung uh, negative wire ng uh, rear camera balutan ng pulang electrical tape. We will connect that red wire dun sa uh, rear uh, light natin mamaya. I-connect sa port ang uh, rear camera and again we will hide the, the wire sa likod o sa ilalim ng headliner at sa likod ng A-pillar using the prying tool. If you don't have a prying tool, you can improvise. Just make sure na hindi magagasgas ang salamin at masisira ang either headliner or A-pillar. Be careful in doing this. Your goal is to hide the wire as much as possible. So take your time. Minsan, um, trial and error, pero just the same, be very patient. Let's check what we did. So, so far, malinis. Walang wire na nakalitaw. Let's take care of that. Gagamit tayo ng uh, zip ties or cable ties para hindi nakakalat yung ating uh, wire sa ilalim ng mga trims. Just, uh, 
lift it up straighten your wire use your cable tie and cut it using a pair of scissors or cutter don't use too much cable ties para in the event na kailangan yung palitan yung wire for whatever reason hindi nyo uh, kailangan putulin yung napakaraming cable ties you can just put uh, cable ties um, siguro 10 to 12 inches apart you can remove the trim by simply pulling them out just be very careful Nandito na tayo sa bandang likuran ng sasakyan. Our goal is to hide the wire as much as possible. Papunta na tayo sa likod. Ikabit ang mga trims. Huwag magmadali. Open the trunk. And look for that wire. Ipapasok natin ito pataas. There are different ways to install your rear camera. Uh, kadalasan, nilalagay ito sa taas, right above the, the plate number. Pero I decided to put it inside the vehicle. In that way, hindi siya uh, prone sa init o tubig uh, from the, the sun and the rain. At hindi siya pwedeng nakawin. I'm installing a uh, rear camera na merong night vision uh, capability. Now, the goal is to know kung merong bata o merong kang something o someone na pwedeng masagasaan sa likod whenever you are backing. Take your time. That's the end that connects to the rear camera. Pasok natin sa loob. At kukunin natin uh, from this part right here. It's made of rubber. Just lift it up. Butasan. Diyan natin ilalabas ang, uh, ang wire na yon, Ang wire connector na yon. And then we will uh, install it back into its place para naka-sealed pa rin maayos ang pagtago at paglabas ng wire yung pulang wire na yon ay ang uh, positive wire that we will connect to the rear um, light no? sa, so whenever we are backing yung backup camera capability nung, nung device 
uh, will switch dun sa backing mode. You need lots of patience in doing this. Mamaya natin i-install ang ating rear camera. I-connect na muna natin yung red wire to the rear um, light, backup light. Sometimes two prying tools uh, can make your work easier. Kunin ang 10mm socket at wrench at buksan ang uh, likod na ilaw ng inyong Toyota Vigo. Open the end of the wire using scissors. Iangat ang uh, rubber part na yon ng sasakyan at ipasok ang, ang wire. Papunta sa rear or backup light. Yun ang um, ating pagkukonektahan ng wire. So, I connected the the T-tap to the white cable or yung white wire and um, maikli yung nabili kong rear camera. So, I extended the red wire para maikonect ako dun sa uh, T-tap connector. I will connect the rear camera dito using the double-sided tape that came with the rear camera. Again, sa loob to ng sasakyan, hindi sa labas. Install ang rear camera ng maayos. You'll be surprised na napakatibay at durable um, ng mga rear camera uh, double-sided tapes na ito. Ikonekta ang dalawang wire. At gamita ng electrical tape para mas maayos at secure ang connection. Tapat lahat ng wire ay balot ng electrical tape. Pasok pa loob, push it in. Our goal is uh, to see the wire as clean as possible. Hindi masyadong uh, masakit sa mata tignan. Let's start the car. Let's see if it will turn on. Yun. That's the rear camera image. I already set the date and time. Now let's um, see if the backup capability is working. Yon. And remember, na sa loob ito ng sasakyan, wala sa labas. And we can still appreciate yung. Um, uh, option na merong ilaw yung feature na merong ilaw whenever you are backing so yan, malinis walang dangling wires and we can still use yung uh, power source malapit sa entertainment unit I hope marami kayong natutunan and I hope this would challenge you to install your front and back camera in your own car in the near future. May God bless you and I'll see you soon.